Throws, Bingram leads, touchdown! Looks to throw, touchdown! 540 touchdowns, Drew Brees take a bow. Good morning, wake up, wake Good morning, wake up, wake She says good morning, wake up, wake Wake up! Week 16 Sunday, every division in the AFC has been clinched, but only one in the NFC, and that's the NFC South. Drew Brees Saints can finish anywhere between the one and three seeds. Got to win in Tennessee and see where the chips fall. Duck Hodges now. He's going to get the start again today, but started off fast and ended up throwing a bunch of picks. We'll see how long he lasts. And Darnold trying to uh, get a hot streak here at the end of the season. Going up against a tough defense today. Can he steal a win against the Steelers? Nicely done. I'm like just that. wondering how many MVP votes this man will get with the season he is having. It's time to give love to the man that deserves it, that wide receiver. So many hopes for their playoff season in Cleveland. It's still alive. It's being the playoff hopes at six and eight, but they're very faint heartbeat for the Cleveland Browns with the potential number one seed Ravens in their house. And after all the drama, the ups and the downs, the Cowboys just one Philly win away from clinching the NFC East. Jane Slater has been with the Cowboys all season long. Front row seat for all the drama now in Philly. Take it away, Jane. And Rich, given the significance of this game, you can only imagine the frenzy that Cowboys fans found themselves in when they learned about this AC joint sprain that Dak Prescott is dealing with on his throwing shoulder. I'll tell you that I've checked in with my sources throughout the week, and it remains the same message. He's going to be good to go. But if he has to throw the ball less, they might as well rely on that running game that was so robust against the Rams. Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard combining for over 300 yards of total offense. I caught up with Elliott and asked him about that addition of Tony Pollard. And he said the game plan doesn't change when he comes off the field. He's such a complete back. He also said at this point in the season, this is the freshest he's ever felt. He said last year he was walking around like an old man. He felt really bad. Uh, for more on uh, this Eagles and how, and how this will affect them. Let's also talk about the rushing game. When they have Ezekiel Elliott on the field, they've won every single one of those games to date. So for more on this, let's go to Mike Garofolo. Jane, win and they are almost in, lose and they're out. No doubt the biggest stakes for a Carson Wentz quarterback Eagles team. Even Wentz admitted that the other day when asked if this was the biggest game of his career. Wentz has worked hard to get to this point, to be healthy this late in the season. He revamped his diet and his, diet and his workout regimen in the offseason, and teammates have noticed his endurance and noticed his flexibility and movement, particularly on a pass to Miles Sanders last week, a gorgeous touchdown touchdown pass against the Redskins. And speaking of Sanders, this is a guy who was struggling to produce earlier in the season when the Eagles lost to the Cowboys. He has been phenomenal the last couple of weeks, a reason for the Eagles to be confident despite all the weapons that they have lost. Touchdown to Sean Jackson! He's got his man, Alshon Jeffries. This high-scoring, high-flying offense. That just dropped one out of the sky. So now they're short one more receiver. Greg Ward, where have you been all our lives? It's the Boston Scott Show. When this team needed to light up the sky, this was Carson Wentz at his best. Okay, good stuff. Hour number four of NFL Game Day Morning presented by Lowe's. We all know that the Eagles have been banged up. Alshon Jeffrey Dunn, no Aguilar, no Jordan Howard. It's you know, we're, we're learning, role. you know, John that it's, it's Arthega Whiteside um, and this kid who is the quarterback in Houston who's now catching passes for Wentz, et cetera. I gotta make sure. Are you all right over there? Kurt looks a little too tall. Okay, there we go. Get your height adjusted. Yeah, right, right. Um, this Eagles enough. offense right. with no Lane Johnson up front. I mean, it is... It has been quite something. Do you think they'll be able to stay point for point with the Cowboys? If Maybe. We you know what? Jim Schwartz's defense is pretty good. They're going to keep the yeah. score close. They'll keep it close, and they're going to unleash the practice squad guys. You mentioned Greg Ward <laughs> from the San Antonio Commanders over there, and then the practice squad. Heck, he was the only receiver that caught passes last week for the Eagles. And Boston Scott from La Tech. These two players from the practice squad have 200. 88 scrimmage yards in the last two come from behind wins for the Eagles. So Carson Wentz, hey, just distribute to these guys. This is their chance to shine. Maybe get a better contract, whatever that is. They're playing with uh, some youngsters that started off 
you know, servicing the, the, the defense, yeah. and all of a sudden, here they are. Let's go beat the Cowboys. Yeah, I mean, keeping up, I guess, is what, what do you mean by I mean, the Cowboys are averaging 27 points a game, which really surprised me that you got a 7-7 seven and seven team that's averaging 27 points a game. Yeah. If they stay at 27, I'm going to answer this question with no. But I'm kind of with you, Mooch, when, when you say – the defense has to keep it close. This has to be a lower scoring game, I believe, if the Eagles are going to win. I don't think they have enough. I don't think Carson Wentz has been consistent enough this year to put up 27, 30 points and keep up with that kind of Dallas Cowboys performance. And when we keep talking about the injuries with the Philadelphia Eagles and just glossing over the major injury for the Dallas Cowboys, the, the Philadelphia Eagles, other people are injured. But the guy that holds the ball every down He's fine. Carson Wentz is fine. He'll be able to distribute the ball. These guys are still in the National Football League, the NFL. With the Dallas Cowboys, the guy that gets the ball first on every down, he is injured. Now, the Eagles, everybody's can th everybody can throw on them. So now Dak is limited in throwing. Very few people are able to run on them. They're the third-ranked rush defense. So now the Cowboys are forced to go after their strength because – Dak Prescott is limited. I understand that, that injuries are part of the game. I just want to put, put, put this out here so when this thing goes down the way it goes down, I don't want to come in here and have you guys talking about, well, the Eagles were banged up like the Cowboys are healthy. Everybody's banged up this time did of the just, year. Did you just throw an excuse out there? Yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you guys. No, 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 no you guys, I don't want you guys using no. nothing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're NFC East champs after the okay. day. No, 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 no. I don't want to, no. nobody's backing in. Is that not what that was? He's, fr he's front-loading the football spike. He plans uh, to throw in our faces, even though his team has been so inconsistent all gotcha. year long. Okay. You all can't right. expect it. Am uh, I wrong, Michael? But, no, but listen to what I'm saying. When this thing goes to the next season, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Because you have 12 wins and I have 8, they don't give what, you, what well, we're going to give you today? some points in the next game since you have more wins. That's true. It's all 0-0. Zero, zero. Right. We're talking about this game. It's four where, where quarters. Going? Well, I'm just, I'm just getting it after the Cowboys win the East today. We'll be ready for the next <laughs> season. Meanwhile, the last time. Our Patriots discussion an hour two. Please yeah. seek it out. Good job. One touchdown pass from Lamar today in Cleveland, and he sets the Ravens all the time Florida single boys. season touchdown pass. Mark, mm. big Those game. Those boys were spawned where I was spawned. Hands up, hands up. Get your hands up. He is Houdini. Intercepted. Unbelievable play. Throws complete touchdown. Oh, he broke his ankles. Hit and sack. Ball comes loose. Ingram leave touchdown. Wow. That was an absolute dime. Pass is intercepted. Great job by this defense. And the Ravens are making it look easy. Let's flash back to 16 weeks ago. Way, way much longer before anybody thought that they'd have a, an ability to clinch the one seed with a single win in Cleveland in week 16. Let's go back 16 weeks ago. When everyone was wondering or, or believing, mostly, most people, that it was a flash in the pan season, half season for Lamar Jackson last year with the Los Angeles Chargers absolutely unmasking this offense and the quarterback. Now Lamar Jackson is the de facto MVP of this league, and we know that they're a one seed. What is the biggest concern for this team Steve, entering the postseason for, for Baltimore and Lamar. Familiarity. All right. So defensive coordinators are tough guys, but they're also smart guys. All right. And if you have played yep. them, whether you beat them or not, uh, the second time around, you're a little bit better prepared to practice against this stuff, to defend this stuff, put guys on the dive, on the quarterback, on the pitch, on all this past stuff down the field. And you know what? Lamar just like died. the Browns lost last year and then beat them the first time around this year. You know what? The San Diego, uh, San Diego I did it. Enough, Los enough. Angeles Chargers, they lost to them and then they beat them in the playoffs because of familiarity. And all these teams that they beat, whether it's Kansas City or Houston, or, I'm sorry, or, or, or New England or Pittsburgh, they have a, they'll have a better way to defend this second time around. They're not going to just keep winning every single game. Defenses will figure it out, slow them yep. down, and have much closer games. And you could see all the teams that are up there on that board, they've played already. Yeah. So if they see them again, who knows, right? Yep. Yeah, and I think it's very hard. It's going to be very hard for any team to stop what they do. They're really good at it. Uh, they've got the weapons. And really obviously, the more Jackson is so good at what he does, and he's different 
in that regard. I've been talking about it for a long time. Is I believe the way you beat this Ravens or you give them problems yeah. is you have to change the way that they play. And, and you go back and look since Lamar Jackson has taken over. When they lead at halftime, they're 18-0. When they're down at halftime, 